Now let us implement LR rotation function. I'll expand this function here. I will write on the required code. See for performing LR rotation, what are the things that we require? Let us look at it. I have an example. See, suppose this is a tree and this is P upon which we have to perform LR rotation. So we need this node that is P's left child and also we need P's left child's right child. So this is PLR. And using these three nodes, I have to make some necessary changes. What are the changes I have to do? So this root will be PLR. PLR will become root. P is left child, right child. Right? And its left child remains, that is a PL. It will be PL only. And right child will become P. Right child will become P. Then, the left child and right child of PLR will be given to right child of P and the left child of P. So total four assignments I have to make. So let us perform this. So for this I will take three pointers that is struck node PL that is P's left child. So let us take P's left child then struck node PLR that is P's left child right child so here PL's R child I will take then I have to perform necessary changes PL's R child should become PLR's left child P's L child should become PLR's R child. Then PLR's left child should be made as PL. PLR's right child should become P. So total four changes I have done. Then let us see whose height will change. So this PL's height I should calculate and P is also a height I should find out and then I can also find out PLR's height. So I have to find out the height of a PL. So PL's height is node height of PL. Then same way P's height also I should find out. node height of P then I can find out PLR's height that's all all the heights are updated then I should return PLR this is the new root so this I will remove it and at last I should check one more thing that if P is equal to root means root was actually equal to p so if root was p means now it has become a new root so root should be what plr that's it so how we should construct a tree i'll show you an example diagram then based on that we will construct a tree so for that i will take some values like here i will take the value that is uh, 50 root is 50 let us take it as 50 then left child as 10 Okay, then right child as 20 I will take. So the result should be such that 20 is in the root and the left side is 10 only and the right side should become 50. So let us give these values and check. Here already I have a break point. So here I'll give the root value that is 50 and the left child is 10 and the right child is 20. Now if I run this program, under debug mode, let us see what happens. Yeah, root is 20 and its left child is 10 and the right child is 50. Yes, perfect. Rotation is performed. That is LR rotation is performed. See, we are getting the same thing. That is root is in 20 and the left child is 10 and the right child become 50. So LR rotation was also working perfect. 
then remaining that's all i'll stop here you have to write down other two rotations and check them just instead of left and right you have to just switch their names that is left should become right right should become left and already i have uh, written the code for checking balance factors and calling the respective functions so you can use this one that's all in this video